What's up guys, Trev here from Finder Gamer and today I thought I'd bring you guys a video about the TV inputs and your 4K input that you're supposed to have whether you're playing the PS5 or whether you're playing the Xbox Series X. You bought the TV, you go, you put the HDMI cord in, you power the game up, then you go and then you wonder like, whoa, 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 what the heck is going on here? Why is it not showing up 4K? So what you do is you go to the settings and then you go to the TV and display options just like this you see that it's showing 4k uhd so you go to 4k tv details and then boom you hit with you can't you can't your tv doesn't support doesn't support doesn't support and you're like well what the heck this is a 4k tv this is a 4k gaming console like something is wrong here okay so right here guys i have a 4k tv tcl and I have the um, Xbox Series X right now playing. And uh, it shows that I'm capable of 4K at 60 hertz. Uh, my TV is not 120 hertz, so that's not going to show. But I'm supposed to be able to um, um, support HDR gaming um, um, and 4K apps as, as well as HDR10 modes as well. And it's saying I'm, I'm not able to support that. And also, as you can see, guys, it shows I'm, I'm, I'm able to have 4K and auto hdr but it's stuck on 24 hertz what happened to 60 hertz so i'm going to show you guys today how to change this and how to fix this if you do have a tcl tv because this normally happens with tcl tvs okay so here's the first thing we're going to do guys first thing we're going to do is you're going to grab your tcl remote okay you're going to press home on the tcl Next thing you're going to do is you're going to press up one time. You're going to go to the settings. Then you're going to go over. And then you're going to go down to TV inputs, guys. Okay? So once you want a TV input, you can do this to both. I would highly advise you to do this to both. But my Xbox is in HDMI 1 and the PS5 is in HDMI 2. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to HDMI 1. We're going to go over. And then we're going to go to HDMI mode. And as you can see, this is the problem right here, guys. It's on auto. I don't know why the TCL TVs does this, but to produce 4K, it's supposed to be running 2.0. But the TV still thinks that it's on 1.4. So this means we have to manually put it on 2.0, guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll up, down, whatever, and then you're going to go to 2.0 and then you're going to check that. That's what you're going to do. Then you're just going to press the home button on the remote and take you back home. I'm going to go right back to the Xbox, HDMI 1. Now we're back here right where we left off. So what we're going to do is we're going to back it up just to refresh that. We're going to go back into the settings. We're going to go over to the display options. Then we're going to go to 4K details and then boom, that, well, that looks a lot better. I know my TV doesn't support 120 hertz, so I'm not worried about the 120 hertz part. But everything else is now green. Everything else is better. And so we're going to go over to video modes. Okay. And as you can see, all of these boxes are now available. Auto HDR. I got Dolby Vision going on. I got HDR10. It's beautiful. Everything is going on now. So now it's a lot better. A lot better, guys. So... And, and 4K is running good and everything is running smooth. So now instead of having all of those TV doesn't support, TV doesn't support, everything supports now all because I changed the HDMI from auto to 2.0 inside the settings of the Roku TV, guys. So I hope this video helped you guys out. That's all I have for now. If you like this video, if it did help you out, please let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a like. Thank you. And I will holler at you guys later. Bye for now.